next comic to the stage, James Garvin. <laughs> I've been married for about a year and a half now. Don't, 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 don't clap. <laughs> Unfortunate that she bruises easily. Yeah. The problem is her poor motor skills usually get the best of her. Uh, like she'll come at me with like a punch kick combo, and she'll punch my elbow and kick the coffee table, and then she'll bruise. And she's like, "This is all your fault." Tell me, like, no, honey, that's the result of choosing band over PE in high school. No, I, I love driving her nuts, and she loves attacking me. Sometimes I deserve it, sometimes I don't. You know, I deserve it when I sneak up behind her and lick her in the face. I don't deserve it, you know, when she's PBR and Glee and 16 and pregnant at the same time. And I want to watch American Gladiator because Nitro is dominating the joust. But in order to do so, I have to leave one of your stupid shows. <laughs> it's going to work out as well. Um, <laughs> We had a family of raccoons come by our house the other day, and I saw them outside to say hello. And they, they were cute, so obviously I'm going to try to lure them in. <laughs> and this this one raccoon came, you know, stepped closer and looked at me. And he was doing this thing where he's tilting his head like he's really trying to understand what I'm saying. So it's obviously we had a connection. <laughs> so it was appropriate to go in for the snuggle, and I knew that once I snuggle this guy. <laughs> The whole family's going to join in, and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so I take a step closer, and the bastard hisses at me. He was an asshole. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of the fifth dentist. You know that guy that's like, go fuck your sensitive teeth. <laughs> I saw my dog barking at herself in the mirror the other day. And I was like, look at this dumb dog. She thinks there's another dog in the mirror. And I thought, wait a minute. What if she's not dumb? What if she's just upset with herself? <laughs> maybe she's going through a real emotional time in her life. And maybe she thinks she shouldn't have had that last biscuit. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting concerned because, you know, I don't want her to feel the pressure that media puts on dogs. And, and I just want to realize you don't have to be a purebred to be beautiful. You know, and if an extra biscuit makes you happy, I'm going to give this bitch an extra biscuit. <laughs> give the bitch a biscuit, that's what I want to say. <laughs> you ever wonder what puppies dream of? It's pretty much all I think about. <laughs> You know what the saddest thing is, though? They don't get to share their dreams with anyone. I don't know about you, but when I have an awesome dream, I tell everybody. The other night, I dreamt I was a dinosaur that could speak Chinese. I was so pissed when I woke up and needed a troop. You know, cats are cool, too. Um, my neighbor's cat's a little weird, though. You know, I don't mind that he'll walk from his house to my garden and take a poop. I just don't need the eye contact while he's going. <laughs> I used to be, uh, you know, I used to be straight up G. But, but now that I'm married, I, uh, I feel like I've lost some street cred. You know, so I, I started buying shiny shirts. You know, like the shiny at Harding Disney. It doesn't matter what you buy, it just shows that you're dangerous, you know? And, you know, don't look at me funny, because you don't want to fuck with Disney. <laughs> my wife is a very observant person. She'll notice, like, when I get a new haircut. But she'll get mad at me if I don't notice her new haircut. The problem is, when I look up, I usually stop at the boobs. <laughs> you know, I've had people ask me, doesn't she get upset with you telling all these jokes about her? And the answer is yes, but she's always upset with me. It doesn't fluctuate before or after the joke. She's an accountant, which is a great profession, but, and anyone that knows an accountant will agree with me on this, you don't have to talk about your day. 
I, I want to develop an iPhone app that automatically texts her every afternoon saying, Hey, how's your day going? And no matter what she says, I wanted to automatically reply, Me too, we have so much in common. And, and no matter what she says after that, I want another automated response that says, I'm glad you could share your day with me because I'm a good listener and care about current events in your life. <laughs> it's perfect. You know, it's genius. And she won't have a clue as long as they put a different emoticon at the end of it. You know, uh, Mondays will be smiley face, Tuesdays will be thumbs up, Wednesdays will be penis. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> Sometimes it's different. I'm full of ideas, you know. I, if I owned a taxi company, I would advertise on bus benches. It would say, bus stop closed. <laughs> If, if, if people have a problem with it, just put an asterisk at the end of it, put fine print to cover your ass. I'm, I'm a realtor, I do this all the time. I advertise James Garvin, voted world's best realtor. Asterisk, by his mother. <laughs> James Garvin, the realtor you can count on. Asterisk, except for after Jaeger bombs. <laughs> That's all for me, folks. Thank you.